Hey guys, welcome to Pete's RV TV. I'm Chad Shepard. I want to talk to you about today the Montana High Country, Keystone's flagship product for lightweight, full profile fifth wheels. The Montana, for a long time, people have known it for the high quality product that gives us the full height fifth wheel, big slides, and now they've taken it to another level with the helium technology. Today we're going to go over the make, the model, and the build of the Montana High Country and why it is Keystone's fastest growing fifth wheel. So stay tuned. We're going to tell you why Pete's RV is also the great spot for buying the Montana High Country. Did you know we currently are stocking about 15 of these models right now? So if you're looking for a great fifth wheel at a great price with a great look, Pete's RV Center is your place for the Montana High Country. Hey guys, this is the inside of the Montana High Country. Quickly just a little little into on the outside but when we're inside this camper it really comes to life this is this is a good work made of mine Randy Murray Randy specializes in lightweight fifth wheels at our dealership uh, the Montana high country is one of our best selling lightweight fifth wheels Randy tell us a little bit on why you've had great success with the Montana high country and what what do people need to tow this vehicle with are we towing this with three quarter tons are we towing it with one tons this uh, the Montana High Country is uh, again as you said a lighter weight unit than the traditional Montana. It can be very easily towed by a three quarter ton truck. These guys are designed to be under ten thousand pounds, um, so you don't need the big dualies or the diesel trucks that you would need with a traditional Montana um, to tow this guy. I mean, we're inside this truck. Four slides under ten thousand pounds. I mean, when we look at that, a lot of times this now we're competing in a different market. You know, we go when people look at units under ten thousand pounds. A lot of times they're looking at the Sundance or looking at the Rockwood. Um, they're looking at the, the Cougar. Mid-profile mid stuff. Mid-profile yep. stuff, yep. So in this trailer, we got true full profile, which we'll really notice the size of the profile when we look at cabinetry. We'll look at when in the front bedroom, we can see the flat floor. Yeah, we don't have that hump in the floor. We've got uh, the drop-down frame, so some incredible under storage that uh, we'll see a little bit later in the video. Tell me a little bit, Randy, under 10,000 pounds, how do we get there? Are we eliminating stuff? Are we upgrading the build? That We're not eliminating stuff. That's what makes the high country uh, such a popular model out there. Um, they've just changed the build a little bit from the traditional Montana that we uh, that we know and love. Um, the, the biggie is the slide systems. They've gone to the, the ball cable driven slide system. So we're actually driving these out from some motors above the slide from inside the coach. Saves us about three to 400 pounds per slide from the traditional rack and pinion system. Uh, the other thing that we're doing is uh, the laminated floor built much like the exterior walls rather than uh, the one piece plywood floor that we see in the, um, the traditional Montana. So that has really lightened up the load and saves us about 1,800 to 2,500 pounds per unit just on uh, a little bit of the different build process. Yep, I agree. The, the Montana High Country, I mean, we stock a lot of these. That, that's probably why we sell so many is because we stock all the models. We stock the colors. Um, this is a brand new 13 we're in right now. It's been some few nice upgrades to the 13. I, and I, I think here, you can't, it's hard to see it from the video. We've got the arched roof with the crown molding. And that's just a wonderful thing because it, it puts another aspect to the trailer. It gives us the rounded roof. It gives us a lot more headroom up in the bedroom area. Even with that flat floor, we still, if you're an over six foot guy, you're not feeling compressed up in that upper bedroom area. It makes yep. it really nice. I just quickly noticed that, you know, we got the wood style blinds in this. Something new for 13, which I really like to see. Just brings a whole new feel to the, to the unit and a, and a great look. Tell us a little bit, Randy, we can also save weight by doing some things like this uses a different style countertop than what we traditionally see. I mean, it's not, it's not the cheapest way to build a countertop, that's for sure. Absolutely not. You know, it's not a particle board with a trim put around the outside. This is a solid surface countertop, just like the traditional Montana. It's not the true Corian. It's got a honeycomb back to it. It's a lot lighter way to do it, but it is just as durable. Um, it's a great, it's actually formulated just for the RV industry, and I love to see it in the Montana High Country product. Yep. In this trailer right here, I'm looking at, you, know, you can't see it from the video, we've got, we've got a fireplace in this, we've got the big screen TV, we've got DVD players built in, surround sound in the ceiling, you know, etched glass on the cabinet doors. Tell us a little bit, Pete's RV, we option these out, I mean, we go, up against, we go up against a lot of competitors. I mean, granted, there's a lot of places to buy RVs, and why does Pete's RV sell so much? Is we provide, we don't skimp out on the options. We no, them. you'd think our low prices that we would have ordered them uh, with less on them to keep yeah. the price down, and that's definitely not the way we do it with our high volume buying um, from the manufacturer. We're able to give you all the best amenities, i.e. The, the recliners, the larger air conditioner, I mean, I uh, look, things like that, still at discounted pricing. Not only these recliners are rocker recliners. Rocker recliners, absolutely. I mean, we go up against some, some other companies out there, and they got swivel chairs in the back, and I'm like, you know, are you kidding me? 
you know, stuff like that. And I mean, here we got the height of bed sofa that comes out. Absolutely. And that separates us from a lot of the guys out there, you know, um, being, you can buy this for less money with more stuff. I'm, I'm there. <laughs> Little <laughs> you know? stuff, ceiling fan in the ceiling. Um, you know, we got some nice, it's probably got the nicest kitchen um, lighting system I've seen ever in a, in a fifth wheel. It's a really, really in nice In counter lighting. space. I mean, counter space is a commodity in any RV. And just, uh, if we look at the counter space in this guy, it's, it's just larger than the kitchen I have at home. Yep. Um, we got freestanding dinette in this model. That's that's gonna be standard pretty much in all our Montana high countries. It is, it is, and I like to see it because it, it's a little bit more flexible for us. Um, we can move the chairs around. We've got great storage under the seat of those chairs. It's got a leaflet that comes out, so yeah. um, nice, nice feature to have in this guy. I did notice that, that this actually comes right out, lifts up here. You guys can hear a little background noise. We got the uh, the F-16s flying today, so we appreciate that as well uh, to all our military members there. Um, for stuff I just noticed here, like the this is this is something really exciting and new. It makes it just another it, it, nice it feature. It gives it a residential feel. You know, it doesn't so much feel like that we're in a camper, like the camper that I or you own. You know, this feels like this could be a full timer's unit uh, with every amenity available to you. Um, all solid surface doors. I'm I'm looking at the cabinetry here. I see all the inserts are real wood. We're not using the particle board stuff. Absolutely not. And uh, one of the ways uh, when you get into the lightweight stuff or try to save weight on a unit is if we skimp on storage or drawers and things like that, which is not something you're going to see in the Montana, which really separates it from a lot of the guys that out there that are, are weight conscious units. Yep. 12 cubic foot fridge, that's the staple in this floor plan. And the funny part is you can order this with an eight cubic foot. I mean, that's, it, I, we only bring them in at 12. I've seen an eight cubic foot fridge at a show one time from another it, dealer and I was like, it, it, it almost looks hit. odd in the Montana product to have that smaller fridge in there with all the other amenities that, uh, that it comes along with. Yeah. So Randy, what we'll do is we'll take a minute here. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go shoot the front bedroom real quick, show these folks that extra height that we're gonna get with the full profile. Then you can take us outside, show us the new slide systems, show us the uh, the construction, the build, and the, and the amount of storage on this camper as well. The bedroom slide in this Montana high country really brings to life the, the full profile camper. As you can see, with my head height in here, with the arch ceiling is where we get that extra space. There's no step up by the bed in here. That gives us a lot more storage underneath the bed, number one. And number two, we get things like we can get the extra drawer in our cabinetry storage. I mean, in the Montana high country, all the drawers are on metal ball bearing slider systems. There's no wood on wood. They come out 100%. There's real, there's no particle board built in the drawer framing. Um, we get things like this full wardrobe up front here. When we go outside, we'll see that cool cap on the front of the Montana high country. But on the inside, the biggest advantage is we get a full walk, we get like a closet in here where we can hang all our clothes, get a shelf up front here, so we're not sacrificing, and that, that cap not only one gives us better gas mileage, but we're not sacrificing any storage on the inside, we're actually gaining storage. So we'll see that from the outside, it'll be a real, real nice treat.